Welcome once again. Right now we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, Paul's reaffirming love for Corinth. Paul continues his letter to the believers in Corinth, saying, But I determined this for myself, that I would not come to you again in sorrow. For if I make you grieve, then who will make me glad but he who is made to grieve by me? And I wrote this very thing to you, so that when I came, I wouldn't have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all that my joy would be shared by all of you. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote to you with many tears, not that you should be made to grieve, but that you might know the love that I have so abundantly for you. But if any has caused sorrow, he has caused sorrow, not to me, but in part, that I not press too heavily to you all. This punishment which was inflicted by the many is sufficient for such a one, so that on the contrary you should rather forgive him and comfort him, lest by any means such a one should be swallowed up with his excessive sorrow. Therefore I beg you to confirm your love toward him. Paul here is referring to a specific individual, an unnamed individual within that group in Corinth. Therefore I beg you to confirm your love toward him. For to this end I also wrote, that I might know the proof of you, whether you are obedient in all things. Now I also forgive whomever you forgive anything. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ, that no advantage may be gained over us by Satan for we are not ignorant of his schemes. And this here is a well-documented scheme of Satan in the scriptures. And that is to have unforgiveness in your heart, bitterness in your heart towards somebody. If you have unforgiveness in your heart towards somebody or bitterness in your heart towards somebody, then God really has the right to not forgive you either. Remember Jesus said, forgive that you may be forgiven, okay? Where did Jesus get that concept from? Well, once again, it's from the Torah. God said to Moses that no one is supposed to hold a grudge against another person. And if anything would give God reason to turn someone over to Satan, then it would be disobedience to his own law. So in accordance with the Torah, Jesus said you must forgive. And even the Lord's Prayer, the so-called Lord's Prayer, where Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he said, forgive us our trespasses or forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Okay, that's talking about personal grudges. Okay, remember also in Jesus' parable when he said, if you don't forgive, God will basically turn you over to the tormentors and you don't want that, okay? So that's what Paul's talking about here. In the light of forgiveness, he says we need to forgive so that Satan won't have legal ground, so to speak, over you. In the next session, we're going to be talking about opposite perspectives. Until then, seek God with all your heart and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.